once you have your character fully animated, so we have our drawing substitutions and everything's looking pretty decent. Once you have it exactly the way you'd like it to be, there are a couple of things that can improve your uses of this character, especially if you want to use them over and over. Now, the first thing we want to do is we are going to create what's called a master peg. And with the master peg, instead of seeing all of our layers here, we'll actually see them collapsed under one single line. And we'll still have the advantages of opening or expanding that, working with each of the elements. But by creating a master peg, we're also going to be able to transfer our Bob character here to our library. And by doing that, we can add Bob to any other project that we may be working on. So to add a master peg, we're going to simply come down here and we're going to add a peg element. And I'm going to double click and give this a name. So we'll call this Bob Master. OK, now I'm going to give our timeline a little more space here so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to select the head layer. I'm going to hold down my shift key and make sure I select all of Bob's layers. So everything is selected and I'll click and move this directly under the peg which basically makes the Bob master peg, it is now the parent of all the Bob layers. So the bicep, the thigh, torso, the entire body is now under the master peg. So I'm gonna simply collapse this. And as you can see, if we keep moving forward here, we can still go in and alter things if we want to. Now to push this further, I'm going to open up our master here, and I don't want to save this entire animation. There may be times when you want to do that. Let's say if we created a walk cycle, you may want to save this entire animation. But the only thing I want to do right now is just simply save Bob the puppet. So I'm going to zoom out here on my timeline, and I want to select everything except frame one. And I'm simply going to press delete or backspace. And let's zoom in, make sure I don't have any more frames than frame one. So at frame two, everything is empty. And we'll collapse this. We still have all of our drawing substitutions. So if I zoom in here and I select the eyes, if you look at our cells here, let's show preview. We still have our other drawing substitutions here. The only thing we're going to do is going to go and make sure our library is visible. And if you don't see your library, simply go to Window and come down and select Library. And I want to make sure we're going to go to the Global folder. So I'll select the Bob Master Peg and I'll click and drag this straight to the Global Library. And all of a sudden we see here it says Head TBT. OK, now dot TBT basically means this is a Toon Boom template. But why is it called Head? We call this Bob Master. The reason is, I'm going to expand this, it calls for the first layer here, okay? But we don't have to keep it that way. I'm just going to go to our library, double click on our title here, and we'll simply call this Bob underscore master. It can be more specific. Perhaps we've got several different Bobs. This is going to be Blue Bob. So you can do all these different things with this. So now, if we were to open a new movie, so let's do new. And we'll just call this Bob the Movie. Save changes to the global library. Yes, we do. And what I want to do at this point is I want to go to my library, go to global, and I see Bob Master. So I can click and drag Bob Master into my new blank movie. And all of a sudden, I have a character that I can start using automatically here. So I can then go ahead and extend this. Let's see, frame 60, command shift one. And I can animate. I can call on different drawing substitutions. And we have Bob pretty much set here. In addition to this, if we decide to start doing something a little crazy, the beauty of having Bob attached directly to a peg is temporarily move different pivot points around. And what we can also do 
is make Bob look as if he's moving. Undo that. We'll set a keyframe at the very beginning. I. And let's say by the time Bob gets here, we'll move him over. So it's like Bob is skating. All right. And let's say by here he moves even further along. And his arms are a little bit more up. Now, by doing this, we can pretty much have Bob as a recurring character in anything that we're working on. And we don't have to recreate him at all and just kind of bring him in. And we can always add more elements within each movie. And if we wanted to save it out differently, we just add another Peg Master to our global library. So by storing and saving your characters that you create, you can save a lot of time and you don't have to recreate as you move along. So you have the ability to use your character in an ongoing series or just save out templates just as a nice starting place to create other characters.